Congratulations, Liam. Was that a five-star performance? Uh, well, the result will suggest so, but uh, you know we certainly had to work for it in the first half. Um, you know, you're coming up against a, a team in MK Dons who, who want to pass, and they'll, they'll ask certain questions, and our lads had to deal with that, and uh, thankfully we did today. And when they did leave spaces, you certainly got into them, and Will Grigg getting himself a hat trick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he does what he does, doesn't he? Will he scores goal, give him half a chance, and he'll score. Uh, but you know the work ethic around him, he'll be the first to tell you the work ethic around him and uh, certainly the delivery from, from some of the goals of top class, so he deserves his goals. And he got that third one in there just in time before he got brought off. He did, yeah, we were just having a conversation with Vaughan going on and uh, had a bit of a debate whether he should, Vaughan was saying, nah, I don't really want to go on, he's got his, his, his hat-trick, but once he scored, Vaughan is getting off, so it, uh, it worked, worked well in the end. And back into the top two and some statement to lay down with Shrewsbury obviously not playing until after the Rochdale game as well. Um, yeah, obviously they're in, they're in the final uh, tomorrow. Um, but you know, listen, we've got the amount of games to play, and we've got the amount of points to get, regardless who it is. I think you know, the, ma the manager, myself, said all season, that, you know, we concentrate on ourselves and try and get our, our results first. Nick Powell also looking back to his best. How pleasing is it to have so many attacking options when it's getting down to this stage of the season? Yeah, definitely. Uh, somebody asked me, you know, so I, th I think a month ago, this this part of the year becomes important, etc. Um, but again, it's about getting the players on the pitch. It's about freshness, uh, you know, certainly recovery, uh, because we've had a hectic period and we've got one coming up. And uh, fingers crossed, we can we can continue what we're doing. And with seven games to play, the, the players really seem to have that finish line in their sights and seem really, really hungry to get this promotion boxed off as soon as possible. It's just, just same again, more of the same. Hard work will be in tomorrow. Dust ourselves down. You know, we'll look at uh, Rochdale as soon as we can, and uh, hopefully we'll get a positive result on Tuesday. And it's a quick turnaround into Rochdale as it will be, and about building up momentum. It is, it is, because again, you know, you're going up against a tough task. They're coming thick and fast, um, and again, it's it's important that we we get our lads prepared properly. You know, certainly tactically, and uh, you know, give them as fresh as keep them as fresh as we can, and uh, address it every game as as it's our last, and we'll try and win that. And a side like MK Dons may down may be down the lower reaches of the table, but certainly a good footballing side. Oh yeah, yeah, they're renowned. Really highly, you know. I think as a club, the top class. I think that they ran really well. The owners, uh, all the way down to obviously the manager, was a very good coach, uh, and it filters through on the pitch as you've seen in, in certain passages today. You know, I think we were, you know, fortunate today we scored, you know, the five that we have. But uh, you know, he certainly made his work for it.